Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Lee Santa Maria here, and today we are doing a dedicated fragrance video on one of my absolute favorite fragrances from last summer that I did talk about in another video. And this is one you all have asked me about as well in direct messages on Instagram. So, yes, today we're going to talk about it, and I am talking about none other than the fragrance from Mason Francis Cric de Jean's, aka MFK for short, as we're going to refer to it the rest of the video but MFK's Gentle Fluidity Gold is what we're talking about today. Yes, this is a scent that's been getting more attention, in my opinion, over the last year. Um, it's finally starting to get its due and start to be talked about more so than its overly famous cousin, which is Baccarat Rouge 540. But this is the one that seems to be getting the next amount of attention, in my opinion, from what I've seen. So yeah, we're going to talk about it. But before we do that, elves, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day today, everyone. This is a quick beat that took less than 10 minutes. Get into it. And the lipstick of the day is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the color Royal Red. Yes, Royal Red. I showed you all this in a recent makeup purchases like I had done lately type of video. And yeah, very blue based type of red, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments below and as well, everything I talk about in the video today will be linked in the description box so you don't have to wonder about it. Next, we have fragrance of the day and I'm always gonna smell good even when it's raining outside and we're talking about none other than Delina's exclusive version from the House of Parfums de Marley. This, of course, has become one of my favorites as of late. I'm really enjoying this. Full dedicated review will be happening soon on this one. Again, Delina Exclusive from the House of Parfums de Marley is your fragrance of the day. And another thing, you all, I'm really excited because I got this lovely package from my favorite gummy brand, and that is Goalie. You all know I take Goalies, been about that Goalie life for over a year. And yeah, I got a whole little box from them. So thank you, Goalie. And one thing I've talked about Goalie as well they have a gummy for everybody at this point and yeah i got sent a complete pack of gummies from them if you don't know any other one you all know the apple cider vinegar gummies these were the ones that put them on the map i also got sent the ashwagandha gummies the blue ones i have dedicated reviews on all of these by the way i also have these super greens Yes, these are for my people that do not like to eat vegetables but still want the effects of greens. You got these right here. And I also got sent the super fruits, which I do like these. Super fruits are the beauty ones, by the way. They have collagen in them and everything. It's really nice. I do have a code with Goli, which is the Santa Maria, which I do have below for you, as well as I have in the description box. Definitely check it out. My code helps you to save money on your purchases. And yes, and there are flash moments where my code is worth even more than some of the regular promotions you see floating around here on the internet. I will say that. Yes, so my code definitely helps you save some coin on the gummies they have all the different information for you all on the website so again thank you to goalie gummies so now let's get into the dedicated review on gentle fluidity gold from mason francis kirk Deshaun. so let's start with the breakdown let's see this fragrance was released in 2019 so fairly recent this isn't old so nice i actually thought it was older than that it's why it pays to do your research it's classified as an amber vanilla type of scent and this fragrance comes in three sizes. Their newest size is the 1.2 fluid ounce size and that retails for $140. The standard size, the 2.4 fluid ounce, retails for $235. And then the Big Daddy size is 6.8 fluid ounces and that retails for $435. In the world of MFK, this is on the more um, affordable end of the MFK fragrances. Yes, I'll have to say that again, affordability is very relative speaking because <laughs> this is a niche house and yeah, this is, they do cost, this is what it is. <laughs> so the notes in Gender Fluidity Gold are nutmeg, vanilla, we have juniper berries, amber woods, coriander seeds, and musk. And something else too that's important to note about this fragrance is that it came out as a part of a duo. 
And what makes the duo cool is that they literally have the same notes. It's just different aspects of the notes are amplified. So what I mean by that is I am talking about, of course, the Gentle Fluidity Gold today, but there is a Gentle Fluidity Silver that also came out at the same time. And that one tends to lean more masculine, whereas the Gentle Fluidity Gold tends to lean more feminine based on my nose as well as general conversation in the fragrance community. But of course, always rely on what your own nose when making those type of distinctions. So now what you care about. This is the fragrance. I have the standard size, which is the 2.4 fluid ounce size. This scent I picked up um, over a year ago now at this point. I picked it up on a trip to Atlanta when I went to Saks and this one had been on my radar after receiving a sample of it when I purchased another MFK fragrance. And yeah, I had to have it. I was grateful that they had it in stock because let me tell you, this was the It Girl scent of 2021 and I'm noticing she's gaining momentum again here for spring, summer 2022. So yes, check out the juice. I will say that mine, my juice has gotten a little darker over this year because of that natural vanilla that's in there because vanilla naturally darkens over time. And I must say, when a juice gets darker, it gets stronger. We love that in our vanilla fragrances. For the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and spray some out on the test strip while we get into the rating system because you know that's what we do here when it comes to dedicated reviews. When it comes to the rating system, you all know, or you might not know, but I'm going to break it down anyway. I rate fragrances by four categories. The first one is mood and that is how does this fragrance make me feel and where am I wearing this scent? Second is strength and that is on a scale of one to ten with one being a weakling and ten being strong. <laughs> The third category is longevity, and that's how many hours long could I still smell it on me and or clothing. And then the final category is one that really matters to a lot of people, and that is compliment getting factor. So those are your four categories. And now let's get into writing this fragrance. Mm. Hmm. There's just so many memories tied to this. <laughs> Even recent, you all, this was my airport scent. This is my airport airplane scent I wore for my Memorial Day trip. So yes, this already has another fresh memory for it. Let's get into this air rating system now that I've inhaled it. <laughs> First off we have is mood. And let me tell you, this is the effortless chic girl. That's what this is. This scent, it literally goes with anything. It's casual. This is casual chic. I can't stress that enough. Am I wearing this when I'm really trying to show out per se? No, but you can if you just really don't know what to do. That's fine. This is really a scent for somebody that's looking for a signature everyday scent. They just want to smell good. They want to be consistent about it. They don't care what time of year it is. That's this scent to me. Gentle Fluidity Gold. This is signature scent worthy for you just need an everyday blanket scent. Nothing's going on special. You're just going to work or you're just going to the grocery store. That's gentle fluidity gold. That's when I'm wearing this. Now, mm. now let's talk about strength. This scent, because again, it's more of an amber vanilla based type of scent. This scent isn't loud, but it's there. And I'm gonna say what I mean. So on a scale of one to 10, the strength of this one is a seven. Meaning it's because you get that, that lovely vanilla that's in here, but that amber is what really takes it over the top that gives it that little bit of oomph to it. So yeah, this one on a scale of one to 10 is a seven. Now let's talk about longevity. Even though this isn't the strongest scent per se from MFK, this one still lasts for hours on the skin. I get a full on average, I get it on average about seven hours at this scent before I have to top it off. And that was truly tested with my recent trip, like I mentioned previously, that I use this as an airport scent. I had an early 6 a.m. flight, and even between getting up early, getting to the airport, flying, as well as checking in the hotel, all of that, I still could smell this scent on me past the six hour mark. So therefore this one to me gets a strong seven hours, especially when you factor in clothing. I get a solid seven hours out of this scent before I just really feel like, okay girl, you need a little refresher and let me top you off. So this scent again is very good. It's very effortless. You don't have to babysit it. So now let's talk about compliment factor. This is the last category, which is the most important one. And let me tell you something. Again, is she the loudest chick in the room? No. Is she the most adorned, most dressed up, most complicated woman in the room? No, she is not. But does she get attention? Yes, she does. Again, casual chic. 
this is the girl that's just comfortable in her own skin she doesn't have to do too much but yet you're gonna know her presence is there this one gets compliments and i really enjoy it and because of that vanilla factor for my ladies let me say this as well men love this scent i must admit too by the way this scent is head elf approved i let him smell it when i first got it and he was like oh yeah you need that so yeah that also helped magnify why i got it this is head off approved again it's that vanilla in here vanilla is so consistent of vanilla is always going to be a head turner this one is so good it's so it's so simple but it's so good at the same time and yes i absolutely adore this scent i'm very glad that i got it i'm still rocking it a year later so yes this is a purchase that i'm still very much pleased with and very proud of and honestly i will actually get another bottle of it when i run out of it because it's that good because again you all simple signature scent worthy easy reach when you don't know what to put on and like last year you all straight up i had to make myself stop wearing this scent because it was just so easy and effortless it went with everything so yes that is your review you all on mm gentle fluidity gold from mfk so let me know what you think in the comments below do you own this scent have you smelled this scent what are your thoughts on gentle fluidity gold or are you team silver let me know because yes i'm noticing more ladies are getting into the mfk gentle fluidity gold silver version even though it leans more masculine it's very interesting but again fragrance is subjective you wear what you want to wear obviously it's a marketing thing let's just be honest y'all but I adore, I adore this one. So let me know what you think as always, Els. If you dig me, subscribe to the channel. If you like what you're hearing, hit the like button. And if you mad at this video and you're not here for it, that's okay too. I still appreciate you watching today. Thank you. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.